Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with the IRS. Today I'm going to be speaking today about the trust fund penalty and some defenses that you can use for it. Uh, I worked at IRS for 10 years. I've been in private practice for 40. I'm an expert in IRS resolution matters, no doubt. Um, you can go and see my videos. I've been on Fox Business News twice, uh, ABC, the briefing rooms, Newsmax, and all the, all the major stations. Go to 777irs.com, and more importantly, you can see my team of former IRS agents, which are most important. You know, as a former revenue officer, I actually set up the trust fund penalty. Uh, when you watch all these videos, you may watch about what the trust fund penalty is. There's few people out there on YouTube that actually set these penalties up and know the depth about these penalties that I do. That was my job to set these penalties up. So obviously, I'm going to know every defense that's possible. So if you're going through this, you want to listen to me. Or if you need representation, you may want to talk to me. So um, the trust fund penalty, it, it's, it's a bad name. It's really not a penalty. Basically, when a business is supposed to file corporation, uh, files are 941, whether they file them or not, on that 941, it has withholding and Social Security. Well, what the trust fund so-called penalty means is that the money you were held in, you were held you held in trust the withholding and one half of the social security that's the money you held in trust goes against you the 941 is compi comprised of let's go over this again withholding and two parts of social security uh, social security that you matched and the social security that you withheld so once again the trust fund penalty is the amount that you withheld in withholding and the amount you withheld in Social Security. What goes away with the trust fund penalty? The match portion of the Social Security that you were to match, you don't have to pay, nor do you have to pay the penalties and interest, or nor do you have to pay the 940 tax. It goes away. IRS cannot collect it. So once again, you are only supposed to be paying on the trust fund the amount that you held in trust. Now, how do you defend it? Very simply, you deflect it from you to somebody else. The only person who really can't do this is a person who owned it, the, the company themselves, um, and it was uh, their business. They signed all the checks. They did everything. That person, there's no way in hell they're going to get off of the penalty. However, anybody else has a shot. So there are defenses that you can use that you were ordered, you were made to, you were told to, and you can show that to be a fact. So if you have been asserted the trust fund penalty against you, like I said, there are defenses, and all those defenses are have to be deflections onto other people or persons. What happens, a revenue officer like me will usually come out and interview people. They will take a 4180 interview, and when they do, they're going to get down to who was responsible. When they interview you, if it's true, your job is to deflect it on to other people. So the defense you simply have is, that person told me to do it, and I was not in charge. That's how you go ahead and defend the trust fund penalty. If you need help, you need a defense, give me a call. Thank you very much. Give me a subscription. I'd really appreciate it. I got a bunch more videos on a bunch of different subjects. I give you the inside information. The key, by the way, is to fill out that 4180 correctly. And I know the secrets. Thank you.